Corel Aftershot Pro is a fast, flexible workflow solution that combines robust photo management, advanced non-destructive editing, and complete raw processing. So here we are just looking at the workspace for Aftershot Pro. On the left you can see the Browse panel, which lets you access the library and file system and output tabs. Then here we have our thumbnail panel where we can see all our images as thumbnails. And then here we have our preview panel where we can see whichever image is selected and we can see whatever changes we make on it here using the main tools panel. Okay, now we're going to take a look at how to get around Aftershot Pro. So here we can create libraries for our images which help with photo management but for now we're just going to open file system and we click on a folder on our computer and there we can see all our images. Please note that here we have various raw files and you'll notice that we can preview them pretty much instantaneously. So before I used to shoot raw only if I really really needed to because I thought it was slow and, and a pain to work with but um, Aftershot Pro Reel is very snappy and you get all the advantages of RAW, such as more control, much deeper exposure latitude, but it's as fast as working with JPEGs. So notice that here, if you adjust the photo, it gets an icon here that shows that it's been changed. And the changes that you make are done only to the preview version. Well, you call it the master file, right? That's the original file, is the master file. And because Aftershot offers non-destructive editing, your master file itself is never modified. What you see here is called the master version, which is the editable preview which is created from the master file. So edit information for this is saved separately and what you see on screen is just a master version. So before you start editing, you can choose between doing your edits directly on this master version or you can create a new version for editing. So you can press insert or you can right click the thumbnail and choose version, new version from defaults. So let's make a few changes here. Firstly, we can flag an image as a pick, or we can flag it as a reject, or we can add ratings to an image. So this really helps for you to quickly go through your images and find the ones that you want to keep and the ones that you want to reject. You can also use the multi-image view here to compare photos with each other, and you can zoom in with a magnifier tool to see if it's sharp and if the quality is okay. So at this point, of course, you can also rotate an image right here, and then the crop tool, very simple, select it, enable, draw your crop, and then click done, and your crop is done. Note the tabs here. We have a standard tab to access a range of commonly used adjustment tools, but then we can also dig deeper and look at the other tools in the tools panel here. Okay, then after that, we can adjust any number of settings. Uh, and there are some very cool single click tools here. Auto, auto level is very good, it's totally automatic and very quick. Uh, highlights recovers information from highlights, which is very, very useful to have if you've got highlights that are blown. And of course, fill light just adjusts the dark areas to give you some more fill light. And then we also have perfectly clear by Athentech. So here you can notice that these versions are now grouped together. And you can also copy and paste settings from one image to another like this. Just copy, copy, and then here, paste. So all the changes you've made to the one image is now applied to the other one. Very simple and very easy. Okay, so when we're done adjusting all our images, non-destructive editor requires making output images. So we go here to the output tab. And we can choose JPEG or download or gallery. So let's, let's choose JPEG full size. And we can also create custom output batches here as needed. So simply pick up a number of images, drag them into JPEG full size, and say OK, and it saves those images for you in that group. And you can back up your collections or create images for print or upload in this way. So that's it very briefly. Aftershot Pro, great raw support, powerful backup processing, a variety of output options. Aftershot is a fast way to professional photos.